Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, also known as Quasi Thoughts, and I thought I would just take a moment to um, kind of walk you through how I use astrology. Um, if that's something you're interested in, stick around and stay tuned. Uh, I guess I'll start by saying this is a wide, <coughs> excuse me, a wide number five Foxy Fix. Um, I took the elastic out and I um, stretched out the pockets so that I could slip my Stology in the front and the back. And this is actually my preferred way to use Stology so that the cover that it's in becomes the cover of the book as opposed to just slipping in just the back side. Um, I also threaded um, a little tiny, uh, it, it's like a, for a ring planner um, charm through the holes and then uh, I flipped on this cute little giraffe from Coco Daisy. Um, so the main way, uh, did I say this is paradise? This is uh, Spice Paradise. Uh, I think it's a retired color. I got it on by Sell Trade and it is my favorite color. Uh, <clears throat> so the main way that I use um, my Stology is, is literally a brain dump for me. If I have an idea or a thought um, it is used to get it out of my head. So I did a, I tried to do a plan with me for this coming week, uh, which would be Monday the 18th through um, the 24th, but my camera didn't died, so it didn't get recorded. This is a happy mail card that came, and I liked it, so I'm going to tip it in at some point. Um, so uh, my dailies currently, and let's flip to uh, the current day. <clears throat> so this is this is today, Saturday. This is kind of like um, just a, a brainstorming space for how I'm going to use my day. So like yesterday, I had the day off. I had a couple things I needed to get done. And then beyond that, it's just I, I tend to just write out a quote that I like and then little snippets of what I did for my day. So it's a combination of actual planning and organizing my day and um, just things that I like. So here's a, a little flip through of this past week. Uh, and really it was this week that I figured out for sure how I'm, how I'm enjoying doing um, my Stology and how it really works for me. Beyond that, if I have an idea, and this is where the bulk of my pages come from, I just make a spread and I brainstorm out that idea and I just accept that that is the purpose, whether I refer to it or not. Um, it, it's to get the thoughts out of my head and clear up space for things that matter to me. Um, so the other big thing that I use my Stology for are my goals and goal planning. And I have a whole video on how I broke down my goals. So these were some pages where I went through the why on my goals and then, <clears throat> or kind of like why to get me to my actual goals. And then back here in the back, I have my actual goals broken out, including why it's a goal and then like some mini goals for that goal. And those, those two sections together become part of my monthly um, focus and actions. And so that's where I take each of my goals for the month and I break it into things I want to accomplish in this month. So just for May, this is my, my actions that I need to get done. And then when it comes to my daily pages here, I can prioritize some things for this week. This page becomes like um, a brain dump slash uh, processing prior like everything prior to this point can come to here. And then this breaks down any day specific tasks. I only really plan out a, a week in advance. I, technically this is like eight days in advance because I mean, it's Saturday of the week before this. Um, I love the washi tape and I love using up my stickers. Um, I've been using some rub-ons that I have. Uh, I keep a lot of my stickers in, I have these two um, Midori Traveler's Notebooks. This is um, all of my like rub-on stickers. Most of them are from uh, the Mew, Craft Mew series. I think I got most of them on from Washi Wednesday. And then I also have a bunch of washi cards that I made um, in just like a card file. 
insert from Midori wrapped around that. This I made from just um, page protectors for letter size pa pages that I cut down to standard width. Um, so like, I don't know if I can find the middle. So this would be one page and this would have been where the ring bound holes are for a ring bound planner. Uh, and this would have been the edge of the page. And then I just used a fuse tool to fuse them all together. Uh, it's a little delicate and, but I mean, I don't, I'm not, I don't really do anything with this other than store these things in here. And then this one, I made a insert from sticker release paper um, and just covered it. And then I just put extra stickers that I have here and I can peel them off or bits of washi or whatever. Um, and then on this one, this is a traveler's notebook. Oh, I think it's one of the light paper inserts, but maybe, yeah, I think it's one of the light paper inserts. Anywho, I just took um, a piece of washi and like washi down each of my sticker sets so that every, every spread becomes two sticker sets but I can still pick them up, peel the stickers off, and then when it's all done and used out up, I can just take this off and wash in a new one. So <laughs> this is actually not all of my stickers. Uh, I probably need to do this with another one because I've got I've, a few more that I've, <laughs> I've collected as well. Um, I very much like the like washi stickers, like these, not necessarily this set, but ones like those. I also am really loving sticker flakes and things like that, and I do have some vinyls and whatnot. Um, but primarily, the way I use my Stology is just to get things out of my head onto paper so that I can plan my day and, uh, and go about and be productive. So if I have a thought in my head that's hanging out for more than, um, you know, maybe if I have the thought two or three times, like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we were to do this in that room in my house? I'll make a spread. I'll take, uh, I'll take, you know, a page or two pages, depending on how much I think I need, put some washi down, make it pretty, and then just write all my thoughts out. Sometimes I don't even bother to make it pretty, <laughs> like ahead of time. Um, so like this one, this, I was just, uh, figuring out what what inks I wanted to put in my Echo, my Twisby Echo fountain pens. So I, um, I was thinking I should clean out my pens, um, kind of be a little intentional. I just got these two. And so I was like, hmm, what inks do I want? And so I went through all the inks that I have, most of them are blue, and just picked a bunch and then um, cleaned them out. I do have uh, a clear that uh, I put base state blue in and then left it in for a while. So I'm in the slow process of trying to clean the stains out of that one. Um, it's coming along. But once I do, I'll probably put Noodler's Lexington Gray in there, which, um, let's see, which is this. It looks like pencil, <laughs> but it's um, a, water, a waterproof ink. And uh, I very much enjoy writing in that one. Uh, it's probably my most used color. The rest of these I don't think are waterproof, but they, um, you know, for the most part, it's okay. You know, if I come across a quote or something on Facebook, I will write it in here if I think it's worth keeping. Uh, sometimes I will print them out, like this one. I printed just because I didn't think I could write it out in two, two, like, two pages and I didn't want it to go longer than that. And then I printed this vellum or this acetate, and then this is a vellum from Coco Daisy. Um, so most of my acetates are either from Coco Daisy or they are printed, and they're just like clip arts or pictures that I got off of um, Google Images or something like that. Um, so I I don't I mean I think this one turned out okay, but I don't think that. This is just a transparency, like a printable transparency that I bought. I don't think it works very well with my laser printer because it looks very impressionistic. Um, this is another one that I have, and I don't know if you can, if you can tell, but it's very, it looks blurry. So, anywho, that that's how I use it, and uh, man, oh man, am I using it? This, <laughs> all of this is really only like 
two and a half weeks. I mean, it'll be three weeks once I use up these pages, but by the time I'm done using up those pages, I'll be more into here. I mean, I've got roughly 90 spreads left, probably. 89, something like that, in the Stology, and I, I only started it <laughs> at the end of April. So I, I don't know if I continue to do this, if my usage will go down. I, I think it will as, um, you know, I, I come back to spreads. So like, um, you know, I have an AM PM routine. I keep coming back to this. I have um, a spread over here on um, how I want to use tabs. And... I keep coming back to that as I try to figure out, getting close, as I try to figure out how I want to use all of my tab tapes and Avery tabs. Um, and, you know, I do have some that are like, uh, I think this is Planner Press, a Planner Press tab that I just put on a, um, one of those reusable post-it notes from, I think this one is from post-it note. Uh, and then that lets me reuse it. So I've got some of those too. And then like planner press, I just put on an Avery holographic tab. So it, it's all a work in process, but uh, so far I'm liking it. I don't really keep work tasks in this. So primarily I keep work appointments um, in here. And like if there's something important due for work, but mostly this is just my schedule and then kind of a log of how my day went. And I'm actually really liking that because then this becomes something I wanna come back and look at. And if I'm honest, I don't really wanna come back and look at my work tasks. I just wanna come back and look at like what I did with my family and how I was interacting. Plus, I love that this becomes kind of a time capsule of things I was thinking about and things that were on my mind as I progress through um, the book and it's super colorful and fun to flip through. So I hope this was interesting. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, I, I will try to tag things that I have used, but a lot of this I have collected over time. Um, I don't really have a solid uh, place for. I do um, post on Instagram and you can reach me there as well. So I'll leave all those links below. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.